The former confidential secretary and the alleged mistress to Dr. Mike Adenuga, CEO of Globacom, has cried out as EFCC tried to evict her from her home. Hi guys, you are watching M Chiki series. If you are a journey subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable as we get right into this video. Also, hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell on. That way, you get our latest updates. So there's this video that is going viral all over social media the former confidential secretary and alleged mistress to dr mike adenuga the ceo of globacom the lady's name is nora olumi de johnson she's a sierra Leonean, but she, according to the story that she has been working with dr mike adenuga as the secretary confidential secretary for like 30 years now and the lady has been diverting some funds meant for world span holdings one of mike adenuga's company to a Chinese bank account for her own benefits to the tune of $300,000. The money is actually meant for corn oil account. So the lady, instead of transferring the fund to corn oil, decided to transfer the money to different accounts in China for her benefit. So at the end of the day, when it was found out, the lady was meant to face some charges. And not only that, they also accused her of stealing various currencies in Naira and foreign currency to the total of $350 thousand us dollars between 2018 and 2020. So the video has gathered lots of reaction on social media. A lot of people have been talking about all that. The lady was there weeping and saying all sorts of things. Was calling on Mike Adenuga to leave her alone. That what has she done? That he said that she stole the money. That she did not steal money because she wanted to break up the 30 years relationship. That she gave her life to him allegedly. And yet he wanted to drive her away from the house. That the house she built. How many houses did she have? What did he do for her? that he didn't do anything for her no husband no children that she's finished so the lady is crying so i'll let you guys watch this video and i'll be back with the rest of my thoughts he said i stole money money that i didn't steal he went to a black court So after watching this video, I'm like, really? Somebody dating a married man that is not your own husband for like 30 years? Is this lady okay? I don't even get it. Even the house she's talking about. If you're dating a man, I don't know when women will learn. You claim you're dating a man and whatever property the man is buying is not in your name. But this case is a bit different because the lady claims that she owns the house. So probably they're confiscating the house because of the money that she's owing them. Allegedly. Not necessarily owing them that she went into fraud. She siphoned their money. Let me put it like that. She was using another bank account to siphon the money that she was supposed to pay to Con or you, who is supposed to be another company for Mike Adenuga. However, the lady has a different story that they're throwing her out because she stopped the relationship she had with Adenuga, allegedly. So, who is saying the truth here? It is her word against his word or his word against hers. So, now that they've thrown her out, she's wailing and calling everybody saying that because she didn't want to submit herself to Mike Adenuga, allegedly, that is why he has kicked her out. But does it really show wisdom? But 30 years is not too much a long time. Even people who are dating for marriage, how can you date a man? Sometimes some women, because of money, eh? <laughs> I can't get it. Because of money, you just be there. No children, no husband. You didn't even bother to have a child of your own. And when you look at this lady now, this lady will be above 50. I don't really know. Is it only money that she was after? She just wanted the good life for herself, enjoying her life. She didn't care about the consequences, what is going to meet her. Some women, greed, ojukokoro, is just too much. 
honestly this is just too much and uh, this is the height of it 30 years although there's another write-up i saw dr mike adenoga debunking it saying that he never had anything to do with the lady but i'm just saying and some of these men that date their secretary is very common thing in nigeria some of these big men that like to date their secretary and confine in them some people have lost their life through that because the secretary knows in and out of the man whatever the man does in secret the secretary knows about it i don't know why men want to date their secretary it's a common thing anyway but i don't know why they do that me i believe it's very risky somebody that you work with in the office the person knows you a lot knows in and out of your business what you do even your family when the person wants to deal with you the person will just do it at the snap of her fingers it's quite unfortunate that this lady because she has been so long in the organization she knows in and out of the organization she decided to maneuver her way allegedly because that was what the office is claiming that she did that she siphoned their money then on the other way around i don't know why the lady continued to date the man for 30 years like she said allegedly when she knows deep down in her heart that she wants to settle down she wants to have children because while she was crying she was saying there no husband no children she sent herself nobody sent her market she decided on that that's what she wanted to do so she should, she should be able to face the consequences so i don't know her fate now because from the look of things she's losing this house i saw this video i was shocked at this stage i was like mm, is she really sure of what she's talking about is this really my cardeno girl that she's talking about so i decided to search for information online and i realized that oh this is really a big thing i think uh, she left the company as at last year and the lady is a Sierra Leonean. Mike Adenuga is the third richest person in Africa, by the way, according to Forbes. But does it warrant somebody to give her 30 years of life to him? Somebody that has children, that has his wife, that is living his life. You are just like a gate crasher. You are just an alternative. You are not the main person. The man has a wife. So you want to put yourself in second class position simply because of money? Okay, now, even if you want to be with him to give that your 30 years of your life, because I believe that somebody that actually wanted to give 30 years of her life to somebody would have maybe along the line had a baby but she never had a baby but now she's crying she's lamenting that she didn't have a baby if you actually wanted to have a baby probably you would have called that relationship with then look for a younger person that you start something with i don't know why some lady find it difficult to be with young men i know when young men they have their own issues sometimes they dump you but the thing is that if you want to have a child then you find a way to have a child if marriage is not coming your way you find a way to have a child this lady is no longer young and when i saw her talking about not having children at this age that she gave everything to mike adenuga allegedly i was like really you gave everything to him somebody who is already married you know because you've been with him you've been working there you are the confidential second you are the personal assistant because that's what they wrote here you know everything about him his family background his relationship status then why do you put your head there because the only thing i can see in this is money because money is involved that's why she lost her mind she lost everything she didn't even bother to have a child of her own alongside even if she wants to continue with the the relationship but i'm not supporting side chick here she is the side chick that's what it's like in this 21st century some ladies they don't go into relationship with their brain they leave their brain somewhere how can you follow a married man for 30 years the first child of the married man must have even been married and you, you are wasting your life oh my god i saw this story i couldn't even wrap my head around it just let me share it on this platform to know what, what you have to say about this because it's very busy most people that befriend married men either at a particular stage in their life when they felt they've gotten not necessarily gotten a lot of money but when they feel that they've gotten what they want it might not be so much money like that then they look for somebody they look for husband that will marry them if they're actually interested in having children and building family and not following the man till end of time <laughs> Even the house is that's the last straw that broke the camel back. Then according to them that she siphoned money. Or they took over the house because they claimed that she's owing them. I don't even understand the lady. The lady, the way she's behaving, I think there is something wrong with her. But I'm not trying to cover up for her anyway. Because I believe that when she got into this relationship, she was enjoying herself, probably seeing her on trips and stuff like that. Then she forgot herself. She forgot to think about herself and her relationship, about herself and her future and her children. And now she's crying when everything has spoiled because she has fallen out with him. Oh my God. 
oh my god it is really sad i don't know if it's a true story if actually she went out with him it would also be nice for him to compensate her with the house it's not too much but just that the story is also saying that she's found money allegedly so i don't even know where to start let me know what you think about this i would like to read from you guys i'm gonna sign off here stay healthy and safe remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to this channel if you've not done already and i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye and remain blessed